Hello everyone! I finally made update for Morphing Images. Well, here it is, version 2.0. Right now you can create morphing between more than two images. Now you can add so many images as you want. So, right here, you can auto-calculate aspect ratio by first image, or you can write over here yourself. This button enable or disable fixed ratio, here I will show you. If it's enabled, all images will stretch by road ratio. But if you disable, all images will be with different ratio, just like original images. So I just recommend to crop all images yourself. So let's go to the next part. So in my previous version, New points appear in the middle of the image. Right now I add another parameter. Now you can add new points at 3D cursor position. All you need is put 3D cursor at position you need, then press add point. Now you need go to the next point in next image and put at right position. So if you have more than 5 images, and it's a little, little uncomfortable to create more and more windows for each images. So I made these buttons. Jump to the previous point and next point. If you press jump to the next point, you will be moved to point on the next image. So, now you can jump between images and no need to create many windows. Ok, let's go next. Now you can choose form for the point. And you can set point size. Now you can create points smaller and bigger. If you have already add points and you want to change size or, or form, you can open settings right over here. Then select point you want to change. And right here you can choose form and size. Then just push apply. So. I made default color black, but if it's hard to see on picture, you can go right over here, open bone groups, then select color group and change default color right over here. So, when you add all points you need, you just press create morphing and he will create new object in the middle of the scene. Now don't forget change viewport to render, right over here.
Then you can find animation properties over here. Or in object properties right over here. But if you have my new Mega Bug add-on, you also can find in Quick Pack panel, right over here. So, that's it. Morphing is done. But if you need add some change to morphing, you always can just delete final morphing right here and just enable viewport view on this morph edit. And select this thing and press edit morph. And you can add some change to morphing and press again create morphing. So, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!